<clears throat> oh, wait. Wait, I forgot my audio. I have my mic. Guys. Guys, guys, guys. Whoa. Are you guys here? I'm sorry, I have to get my audio connected here because last time I had problems. And now this time I don't want to have problems. Okay. Hey guys. Do, do, do. I gotta clip this on. Can you hear me? How come I, I'm not getting, yes. Hi, hi Shana, hi Sani. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I just quickly came. Happy Friday, everybody. Um, ah, let me try, can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. What's Gucci? Hey, can you guys hear me? Yes, let me know if you can hear me. Cause my audio last time had, I had issues. Yes, okay. Ugh. Sorry, I'm late. I was making a recipe that involved uh, Mike. Mike. Okay. <clears throat> I don't have a lapel. I'm just gonna clip it to my shirt. Like, like this. And we're just gonna deal with it, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just turn around this way so I have better light. Can you guys see me okay? Okay. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much for studio uh, joining me. Yes, this is my studio space. Um, we are, it's still in the works here and I'm trying not to obfuscate um, myself too much. Oh good, thank you Ethan for letting me know that you can both hear and see me. Okay, so let's see how long this, okay. So, all right, look, my hair is getting long, guys. It's getting so long, and you guys can hear me. Yay, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I am here to taste a huge bag of treats. Now, dear lovely sent this to me. Glenn, thank you so much. The last time, oh, the purple full of light. Thank you so much for being a super chatter. So Glenn, the last time he went to Japan, it was at the end of summer, brought this back for me, and it is time to consume this bag of treats. Now, this is filled with treats, both sweet and savory, but mostly sweet. Look at all of that, but super excited. In Japan, so, hi Jay, thanks so much. Hi from Arizona. So. In Japan, you can get little treats or called tagashi. You can go to a shop and you can buy all these little tiny candies for so cheap. Maybe it's 10 yen, which is about 10 cents. You get all these tiny, sweet little candies, lots of traditional ones and new ones as well. But hello, Finland. Thank you guys so much for joining me from all over the place. And um, yes, so if you're just joining me, I'm going to be tasting a bunch of Japanese candies and snacks that were sent to me by lovely Glenn and super excited to do this because I actually haven't tasted Japanese candies in a while. So since I have so many, let me just go ahead and get started. Okay, super excited about this. Okay, let's just do this kind of randomly. Da -da -da. What did I pick? This is what I'm gonna taste first. And this says, awa. So this is some kind of foaming candy. And this one very conveniently says in English, cola bubble candy. So I've got three of them in here and let's give that a taste. Shane, thank you so much. Hi from Ireland. So here is the candy inside. Oh my gosh, it looks like a, Miss Timory, thank you so much for being a super chat. So this looks like, like an Alka-Seltzer tab. Ow, I guess I'm just gonna put it in my mouth. Here we go. Mm. I love Japanese candies, they're so great. So immediately I taste the tanginess. It tastes like artificial, Jolomas 14, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm Jolomas 14, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Tina, thank you so much. Oh, Lana, thank you. Yum. So it's starting to fizz now. And it's strange because it feels like an Alka-Seltzer tablet, both in size and just consistency, because it's a tablet. Look, it's huge. And it's fizzing, but not too much, just a little bit. And the flavor is great. Miss Timory, thank you so much. Mmm, <laughs> now it's really starting to fizz. And it's creating tiny little bubbles of foam in my mouth, but it's not like, I thought I was gonna be foaming out of my mouth. 
Lulu, thank you so much from Panama City. But just a little bit of a fuzz, fizziness. And it's got a great cola. Ginger snack clay, thank you. And the cola flavor tastes like cola gummies. Have you ever had those gummy snacks that are cola bottles? Tastes exactly like that, except the consistency is completely different. It's fizzy and foamy and tangy, but sweet. Here it goes, it's really going out, look. It's gonna be kind of gross, but can you see that? <laughs> Lindsay, thank you, can you see it? Kind of getting fizzy, yeah. That's what happens on your tongue. <laughs> Daniel, thank you so much. All right, I have so many candies to taste. I just took that out of my mouth. Yes, I did, because I'm gonna taste something else. Another random, oh, these, look at these. These are so traditional. These are competo. Now, you might have seen these in some anime, but they're so stinking cute. You see that? They look like little asteroids. They come in pink, orange, lots of pastel colors. And from my experience, they don't have much flavor. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> and so I don't imagine these are gonna taste any different. They don't really taste like anything, just sugar, but they're so beautiful. Look at them. Okay. <clears throat> is there enough light? Brittany, thank you so much. Hey, I've got a light here. Tell me if this is too bright. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty. Oh, ooh. that's a little better, right? Now you can see the treats a little bit better, I think. Okay. So let's go ahead. Yes, Spirit Away candy. Yes, Andrea, definitely. Oh, no. Do I not have scissors? <gasps> uh oh. How do I open this? Okay. Maybe I can just do this. Thank you. Look, there's even little flowers on the top. Okay. These are so cute. They're so cute. Look. They're like little asteroid friends. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's give an orange one a taste. Here we go. Yeah. Just tastes like sugar. Tastes just like a sugar cube. The crunch is like kind of like a hard candy, but more granular. Yeah. It's like a sugar cube. Thanks so much, Insane Ghoul Pharma. Thank you. <laughs> and they don't have any flavor, even though they're so stinking cute and beautiful. But yeah, love, love, love these. Even though they don't taste all that great in my opinion, they're just, just so, son of a pizza man, thank you so much. And yeah, if you ever go to Japan, they're just sort of just worth getting because they're just so charming. So, so charming. Okay. Uh-oh. I have a visitor. Uh -oh. What is it? I'm shooting. I don't need scissors, I'm cool. My husband's gonna deliver me scissors, but I'm good. So, what am I doing now? Tasting candies and stuff, right? All right. Oh, hang on. I'm filming, what is it? I'm good, thank you. Bjork.com, thank you. My husband came to deliver me scissors. Just like five minutes late, right? <laughs> What am I doing again? Tasting food. Okay, here we go. Into the magic bag, and what we're we getting now? Oh, look at these. Me, son, this is a gloomy llama. Thank you so much. <laughs> these are so cute. So when you go to Japan, and you go to the grocery store, down the aisles, there's a candy aisle, and they have these little bins of all kinds of candies that you can choose from, and this would be a good example. So this would be less than a dollar. So maybe like 50 cents or so. But super, super cute. James, thanks so much. And this is fun. I've never actually had this one before, but I think it's a gummy ham, kind of like a those sticky gummy hands, but this is edible. So let's open this up. Oh, look at that. Vivetti, thank you so much. That's awesome. That should be my thumbnail right there. Ooh, look at that, isn't that great? So it has a star and it has a peace sign. But this is candy, this is edible. I think it's cola flavor, based on what it's looked like. Um, yes, cola. Ali Hassan, thank you so much. Cola flavor, so this is cola. And look how conveniently packaged this is. So it's completely sealed. It looks totally like a gummy, like, hand, right? But this is edible. <laughs> like this, like this. Yeah, it smells like cola. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, ready? I'm gonna unfurl this out of this. Look. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. 
The only JS, thank you so much. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Look, 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 look. <laughs> That's a candy. Like, makes me want to want to stick it on a window. It looks just like a window clean. Okay, I'm just gonna eat the fingers off. Here we go. Eat the lucky moth. Mm-hmm. Jerry Johnson, thank you so much. So, Lissy, thank you. So this is cola flavor, but what I like about these cola flavors that I've had so far is that they're nice and tangy. There's a little bit of acidity. It's super great. Not so much that it tastes sour, but just a little bit of tanginess. Super good. I'm gonna be so cracked out after this taste test. So much sugar. Mm. Mm. I forgot to describe the texture. So this is like a typical gummy. Sarah, thank you so much. But it's not as bouncy. There's a bit of a chew to it, but it's not like so chewy, but delicious, especially if you like cola flavor. Okay, boy, this place is gonna be a mess when I'm done. Okay, back to the bag of goodies. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, look at this. Now that does not look like a sweet, does it? This is some kind of Kori Kori. Oh, this is cuttlefish. This is a dried cuttlefish. See this little guy has this little pointy head because he's emulating a cuttlefish. Look at that. This should be good. I love these things. I do have a glass of, I do have water. I should cleanse my palate. Just water. So here's the dried cuttlefish. I have a couple examples of this, but oh yeah. Have you ever had these snacks before? They smell funky. It smells like fermented fish sauce. Yeah, but it's good. So here it is. It looks like those, they look like those pig ears that you can buy for your dog as little dog treats. <laughs> and it's curled up, but this is not a pig ear. This is the mantle of the cuttlefish that is dried. And let's give this a taste. Here we go. Mmm. It's delicious, but it's super salty. I don't think I've had one that salty before. But yes, this is the cuttlefish that has been opened up and dried out, definitely seasoned with lots of salt. And that's a way to preserve it, drying it and salting it. It's great. It's got a texture similar to beef jerky, a little thinner, but firm, dry, not really crisp, but just chewy and leathery, but great seafoody, umami flavor. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I would say this would be an acquired taste if you're not a big seafood person because it's dried seafood, right? But try it, you might like it. And if you don't like it, try it again later because you may change your mind. Okay, more snacks. Let's see what else I have in here. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I just lost the one that I wanted. York.com, thank you. And nice, I thank you. Oh, Bailey, thank you. Look at this. Okay, okay, okay. Look at this. That is some great packaging. And this is Tsupai Ramen Gum. So Tsupai means sour. So I think these are gonna be super sour gums. Look, there's 10 of them in there. Love this packaging. Glenn, thank you so much for sending these. If you're just joining me, I am tasting a bunch of Japanese candies and snacks, including super sour things and things that are not necessarily sweet like dried cuttlefish. Okay, let's try this. So this looks like it has quite a number inside and we're gonna tear it with this little notch right there. And ooh, look, 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 look. Dana, thank you so much. Oh, it smells so good. I love citrus flavors. I think they're my favorite fruity candies, citrus. Oh yeah, look, okay, so inside here are 10 of these, ah, look, potato dictator tot, thank you so much. Look at this gum. This packaging is taking me back to my childhood when 
I was a little girl going into the Hellas Kitty store and I loved these little gums. So this is going to be a gum that you're like, uh-huh, but it's going to be super sour. Okay, you ready to see me go? Let's see. Okay, wrapped in foil. I just slid it out. <clears throat> and do you think the gum is going to be yellow? Let's see. No, it's not. It's white. Oh, look. Oops. It's got a little rich in it. Interesting. Oh, it smells so good. All right, here we go. It's not too sour yet. Oh, yeah, here it comes. Mmm, Johan Janina, thank you so much. And thank you, Maru, for reminding me or letting me know that they super chatted. It's getting sour. So. <sighs> so there is some lemon flavor, but my salivary glands are just going nuts. Nelly B, thank you so much. I know, the Hello Kitty store was the best. One of my favorite things about these kinds of gums is that they have such a beautiful texture. And if you've ever got one of those Hello Kitty gums, you know what I'm talking about. Um, my mouth is... <laughs> I'm having a little trouble talking because my mouth is just full of saliva. Drew, thank you so much. But I'm kind of disappointed in the flavor. It tastes lemony, but it's not intensely lemon and maybe because this is so sour it's kind of hard to concentrate or even taste for that matter but it's not so sour that it's making my mouth bleed or anything you know some of those things are just over the top sour and this is not now it's like leveling off and you're getting that really beautiful smooth <clears throat> Japanese gum texture which I really love it's not gritty at all. It's not overly chewy too. It's just really smooth and tender. I love, love, love Japanese kids gums. They're just so smooth and supple in your mouth. It's a weird thing to appreciate, but I really do. But I'm a weird person, so. Mm. Supai lemon. It's okay. Okay. Now, let's go taste some more candies. Christine, thank you so much. All right. Next, ooh, this is a classic candy, but these are kind of like, what do they call them? Oh, dipping, dickin' lip, dipping lips. <laughs> That's terrible. This is like powdered Kool-Aid, and this is pineapple flavor, and these are these little powders. They're drink flavors. And when I was, I remember in grade school, we used to make, Kool-Aid and we'd take it in plastic bags and we'd eat it and our hands would get all sick. Fun dip. Thank you, pups. Yes, fun dip. This is just like fun dip except there's no stick to dip it in. And you just open this up. Oh boy. Oh, it smells so good. There it is. There's the powder, the magic powder. And then you just like pour it into your mouth. I'm going to be careful not to like, you know, hurt myself. Mm -hmm. They're just like pixie sticks. This is just like pixie sticks, that great artificial pineapple-y flavor, but it's not as sour as pixie sticks. I loved pixie sticks. You remember the trick with pixie sticks is you had to tear the paper and not get the paper wet because then it get all like goopy and then you couldn't get all the magic powder out. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that here because this is made out of plastic. So if you get spit on it, you know, it's not going to mess things up. Got to think about those practical things. This is delicious. I like the pineapple flavor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I have, I think, like 50 different things in here. So I guess, okay. Let's see what else is next. Oh, look at these. Oh, that's upside down. Aren't they cute? They're little strawberry pops. But they are chocolate and white flavored white chocolate. Super cute. And like much of Japan, the packaging is very, very pleasant. So this is how you open it. Oh, here we go. Oh, look, even like the wrapping is so cute. Like, 
like so here are the lollipops. Look at this. This is the backing. It's so adorable. So, so adorable. Okay. Now, oh, look, they're connected. Three lollipops are all connected. And here in the middle, it looks like a guitar pick. It's a sticker. It comes with a sticker. Whee, I love it. It looks like a guitar pick. Not that I could even use a guitar pick because I can't play a guitar, unfortunately. I'm not in Japan. I'm in Rhode Island where I live and this is about to be consumed. This is cute. You can just have one for each of your friends. One for you, one for you, one for me. All right, here we go. Ooh, it's harder than expected. Ooh, it's about to rain. Hmm, the taste is okay. It tastes like artificial strawberry. It actually tastes a lot like yin yans. If you've ever had yin yans, you know, those little biscuits that you can dip in, you know, different flavored creams. That's what this is like. Kind of cocoa flavored and artificial strawberry flavor. Mm, it's okay, but super cute packaging, right? Beep, beep, beep. All right, you should see this pile of, like, here, let me show you the pile of, chaos it's happening right there you see that it's happening okay back up here oh do on the right on my left so for me the text is on this side sorry so text for you is on that side all right you know i'm still working all this stuff out but thank you guys again for joining me for this japanese snack candy taste test and i still have lots of treats Look at this one. This is super cute. This is a little frog and it has little chocolates, candies inside. And what's cute about this, this is all made out of paper or cardboard. I think Japanese friends do correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe that this is some kind of game. I think it's kind of like a fortune telling thing, and, but I'm, I'm not sure. But what's really great about this is that you open this little door and the candy poops out. But the candy is in a plastic bag, so you have to open this up first from, which way does it work? Oh, from here, I forget. I actually tasted these when I lived in Japan. That was the first time I actually had one of these. So you have to pull this head apart here, like that. And then you open this door up so you gotta take the froggy apart a little bit. See, take them apart. And here are the little candy balls. See, oh, sorry, you wanna see the other side? Here's the other side. So you put the candy balls back into the frog. Okay, I'm trying to do, okay. I'm gonna try to do this without spilling these everywhere. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna dump these in there. Oh, I didn't spill that, it's odd, okay. Allison Yak, thank you so much. Flower and Friends, thank you guys so much for super chatting. Okay, put the balls back in there. Put this back together again. Put the head back on in this little tab. Make sure the butt's closed. And then, okay, frog is back together. Okay, now you just open the door and then you see what color you get. Let's do a shape. And then I think you ask it some kind of question and based on the color you get, you're question gets answered or something, something like that. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see, shake, shake, shake. Oh, I had like four of them come out. All right, the first one that came out, this one, pink, yay. All right, pink ball. All right, frog, pink ball. All right, here we go, ready? Ooh, they taste like, oh, what are those, oh. I thought it was chocolate at first. It's not. It's a grape flavor. Tom, thank you so much. That's strange. Because inside it has kind of like the texture of a, a sixlet. You remember those candy sixlets? Yes. Candy coat on the outside and I thought it was gonna be chocolate in the middle. I'm trying to cut it in half. They're, they're grape flavored. Nuts. Look, that's what they look like inside. They're white. 
and tastes like tastes like grape grape flavored candies all right those are delicious anthony thank you so much little froggies that poop out rainbow grape flavored candies love it, love it. all right next um it's not like nerds a little bit different more like a sixlet Ooh. Oh, look, more cuttlefish, guys. This is a little bit different texture, I think. So let's open this up. Oh, yeah, same smell. There's a cut. Whoa. <clears throat> look at the cuttlefish. Look at the color of that. Oh, wait, this isn't cuttlefish. Is this cuttlefish? It smells like cuttlefish, but look at the color. Look at that. It's like orange. Whoa. Okay, here's some kind of tentacle piece. Look at that. Wow. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Mm-hmm. These are good. I like these ones better than the last one. These are sour. Sour and have a softer texture. See? Mm-hmm. It's kind of weird. The flat pieces are kind of like dried slightly dried out lunch meat that has that kind of texture but it's it's not red radish no i don't think so unless it's seasoned with seafood no i don't think that's radish i mean look at that there's a gnarly piece and that is much thicker mmm i like that mm-hmm 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 mm -hmm. Fishy, umami, sour. I like the texture. It's slightly rubbery and salty. Maude, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Those are fun. If you like sour, fishy things, try that. They're more like dried out rather than being boiled. Like that. Okay. Hand in the magic bag treat. Ooh, ooh, look at this. This looks like some kind of like vitamin C candy, but there's citrus. So pineapple, apple, uh, ding, what should that? Ichigo, strawberry, and orange. So there's Ichigo, which is strawberry, orange, um, looks like ringo, apple, and pineapple. Okay, yes, I am tasting treats. If you're just joining me, treats that my friend sent me. The last time he went to Japan, so both sweet and savory snacks. I don't think I'll be eating all of them because I think that'll make me sick, but I will definitely be sharing them with my kids. So look, this is clear so you can see all the different colors. So I'm imagining that is pineapple. Oh, look, this is brilliant. Why didn't they do this in packaging when I was a kid? Look, so here's the pineapple. So all the yellow ones are here. Here's the green. So that's all the apple. Here's the pink lines up with the ichigo which is the strawberry and here's the orange <sighs> if they would only do that to starburst then i would eat all the ones that i like i'm not a cherry starburst fan i know i know sacrilegious to many of you but i love lemon and orange lemon i think is my favorite okay i'm gonna eat from the other side because i want an orange i had a pineapple candy just now so i want orange look i'm gonna use the scissors my husband brought for me he was so sweet. <sighs> okay, orange, orangey. Here we go. Mm. So this is much more like a ramen in texture, more like a mm, like a sweet tart, smooth and kind of chalky, like a tablet. All right, I'm gonna bite this. Ready? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's exactly like a smarty. A giant smarty. Same mouthfeel, same crumble, same artificial orange flavor, a little bit of citrus tanginess in there. Exactly like a smarty. Pretty good. Okay, more. <clears throat> Look at this. These are great. These are rice snacks and they are shaped like little chili peppers. These are delicious. Although when I was a kid, I did not like these because I found them to be too spicy, but now I love them. So 
So it has a little twist tie that's supposed to look like a natural, I don't know what that material is, is it bamboo? But it's not, it's just a paper twist tie. And open this up. Cicelyn Johnson, thank you. Thank you guys for telling me. Arare, yes, that's what the, these are called. Oh, look, chili peppers. Here we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And I found in Hawaii, you can find a lot of these. Hawaii at the convenience stores, you can find all kinds of arare mixes. So delicious. Rice snacks. This is, these are a little bit spicy, have that great toasted rice flavor to them. A little bit of soy, delish. Mm -hmm. But they do have some chili heat to them. Great big crunch. So my kids don't like these ones because they're too spicy for them. Cherry stroppers do taste like cough drops. I used to like the Luden cough drops for some reason because they were cough drops. I'm like, oh, they're medicinal, but they're like candies. I don't know. Okay, more. <clears throat> Ooh, look at these. These are little biscuits. These are like cream biscuits that they have in the UK and they have a little kit on them. They're made by Glico. And I haven't had one of these in so long. Kind of like teething biscuits. Oh, pause, no. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've actually had one of these before now that I look at them. Look how cute. They're like little cream sandwiches, but they're so tiny. Look, there's like four of them in there. All right, here we go. Those are good. They have a little bit of a lemon flavor to them. They taste like animal cookies. Yes, the crunch is a little bit different. It's a little bit lighter, not as hard as a biscuit. And then the cream filling is just slightly sweet. Mm. Oh, good. Really good. I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit in here. It's a little bit cold, just a second. Uh, uh, uh. Back. All right, I'm gonna have some water. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. I don't eat lot. So people always ask me how I manage just to stay the size I do. I don't eat all the food that I make on the shows. Whenever I'm making an episode, I just take a couple bites. Same thing with these candies, I'm just having a bite. And then, it's all about portion control. I do, I'm, I'm hoping to do a little fitness video. Are you guys interested in that? Just to let you know what I do on the day to day and how I manage, you know, staying healthy. So, let me know. Uh, okay. Ooh, look at this. This looks like another snack. Ooh, this is, I think, maybe karage. Oh, no, no, it's just not, this is not karage. This is, this is karaoke. Yeah, was it karaoke? Karaoke, like, senbei snacks? Okay, let's see. I've never had this before. Look, it almost looks like a chicken nugget. Oh my gosh, they look like karaoke. They, they look like little croquettes, which is, are pictured right here. Deep fried croquettes, look at this. Oh my gosh. It smells like it too. Excuse me, I just burped, but I tried to keep it in. But that one was a little, all right, less successful. Anyways, <laughs> this smells like tonkatsu sauce. So it's a little bit tangy and has a little bit of five spice. And let's give this a taste. That's so bizarre. It tastes just like karaoke. It tastes like a croquette. It tastes, it has a bit of a deep fried flavor. It has a crunch more like a senbei snack, slightly crumbly, full of tonkatsu flavor, but it's dehydrated. It looks like a chicken nugget. Oh, Cecily Johnson, Jensen, thank you so much. Whoa, that's crazy. It's like it's been freeze dried or something. Those are frankly good. Wow. 
I like those. I, I, I didn't really know what to expect, but I like those. All right, definitely need to cleanse my palette after that. Because it was so flavorful. <clears throat> All right, hand into the bag. Allie Bonnet, thank you so much. Oh, these look kind of familiar, right? <laughs> these are Bob Dogs and they are candy cigarettes. So they're made by Orion. It's a candy manufacturer in Japan. Unwrap that. And it says, we support you not smoking, which is great. Okay, so open this up. And inside, I know it does look like the Animaniacs, isn't it? We have six, six candy cigarettes. Hard to see, let me take them out of their bag. I think they're candy, I don't think they're gum. Whoa, here we go, look. Can you see that? It says, it says Orion on it, but it's hard to see. I think they're candy. Yeah, they are. Mm, they taste much better than the candy cigarettes I've had in the past. They taste like ramenay. So, cold hard, thank you so much. Kind of citrusy, tangy, but tastes like ramenay soda. A little bit bubblegummy, very hard, but not so chalky like the ones that I've had in the US. Still not very good. So hard, but yeah, I would, you know, you'd be like emulating smoking. A lot smaller though and shorter, you know? Silly. It'd be cool if it puffed out like, um, you know, powdered sugar or something, but. I know I should suck on them, but I've got other things to taste. Like, ooh, what's this? I have no idea what that is. This looks like an old fashioned candy. What's that? All right, let's taste this. I tasted cuttlefish already, Sean, Sean Neal. I tasted two different versions. Whoa, look at those. Those are beautiful, bright yellow beans. All right, let's give that a taste. Those are good. You see those? Oh man, those are good. I think I'm getting amped on sugar. So those have a really kind of almost thick candy coating on the outside and inside they kind of, oh, you know what they're like? They're like giant Tic Tacs. That's exactly what they're like, Tic Tacs. That same kind of crumbly texture, but they're so much bigger than Tic Tacs. Although I think they have giant Tic Tacs now. The flavor is delicious. It's like a uh, lemon mixed with pineapple. Kind of tangy, but pineapple-y. I love those. Portion control is good in here too, because there are seven in there. So you're not gonna be eating too much sugar. So thank you all for asking me about coronavirus. I don't have any family in China. So um, it is something to be worried and concerned about. And I'm thinking of all the people that are suffering there, but I do not have any extended, even extended family. Well, I think I probably had like distant cousins that would be there, but I don't have any immediate or, ex you know, near extended family in China at the moment. But if you guys have family and friends there, do keep them in your thoughts because it's a real thing. And um, it's just gonna be a matter of time before it gets around the planet. That's kind of how these things work. But yeah, on that note, <clears throat> Let me see. Oh, look at this. This is a mini pudding. Look, mini, mini pudding. Old school, old school. It's like a poochie pudding. I've had one of these before and I remember I didn't really like it. This is not refrigerated. We can't see when you hold the snacks on that side. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't see it when I put it on this side because all of my chats come up on this side comments. So when I put it here, I feel like you can't see it. So I'll put it over here so you can see it. And this is a pudding. So it has like a little tiny bit of caramel on top. So it's kind of like flan. And this is, does not need to be refrigerated. Kind of crazy. So I remember having one of these before and not thinking that much of it. When you have them fresh in the refrigerated section, they are pretty good. But um, like this? Anyways, here it is. Look at this gelatinousness. Okay. I'm just gonna just slurp it out. Here we go. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. Yep. No. And for not being refrigerated, it's actually pretty good. It has a vanilla -y, kind of eggy flavor to it, caramel on the bottom, and it feels like jello in terms of mouthfeel, enriched with a bit of condensed milk. Not bad. Whoops. Just dripped all over the floor. What else do we got here? <clears throat> Oh, we've got another animal that poops out candy. This one is a beaver. Super, super cute. Look at the beaver. There's the beaver's butt. And we have the same thing here where we can put the rainbow colored grape flavored balls on the inside. Super cute. I'm not gonna eat that one because I already ate one. Uh, let's see, what's this? Oh, look at this cute packaging. Super adorable. And this is a happy pudding just like the pudding that I just ate a minute ago, except this is a marshmallow. Marshmallow, marshmallow. And I believe it's gonna be filled with a kind of pudding flavor. So, beaver poop, sawdust, Scott, that's hilarious. All right, so marshmallows are actually pretty popular in Japan. You see them around. This one's a little bit dusty, but Glenn did pick these up for me over the summer, so. Here we go. Let's see if I can open it for you. Oh, look, see, it has a filling in it. You see that? And that is gonna be the pudding, I believe. <coughs> Let's give this a taste. Here we go. I'm not a huge marshmallow fan, but here we go. Actually, I am ethnically Chinese. I am. I just started my channel when I was living in Japan and it was going to be a craft channel about things I made while I was in Japan. That's why it's Emmy Made in Japan. I know it's misleading. Don't worry, it's going to be Emmy Made soon. That's, yes. Channel name change is coming soon. Yes. That's not my favorite. It's got kind of the custardy flavor, but I don't really like marshmallows and this marshmallow is a little bit dry. But same marshmallow texture, just a little bit dry and has kind of a custardy flavor, but Okay, more. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, here we go. This, are the, this is what I was talking about earlier when I had gum. This is the Hello Kitty gum, and this is Rilakkuma and friends on this gum. And because I love gum so much, I'm going to eat another one. Here we go. So same kind of thing. You slide it. Oh, this one doesn't want to slide out. So I'm just going to rip Rilakkuma. Okay and then we'll take the gum out of the foil wrapping. And this one, whoa, I've never seen that before. Why does it have that on there? I'm not sure. What does it say? Hozure. Hazure, oh, Hazure? Oh, I think this is, that means I lost. I think you can win something. So hazure means I lost. I think you can win maybe another gum. Boo. All right, so the gum has a similar kind of thing as the other gum, it has a little valley in it. See that? Mm. So good. It tastes like a Hello Kitty store. Mmm. <laughs> and again, it has a really great smooth, sweet, smooth, smooth, smooth bubblegum texture. And very light bounciness, just really smooth. It's not so chewy or rubbery, just smooth. In terms of flavor, it tastes like ramen candy. So kind of lemon limey. And ramen, by the way, is a very popular soda that you can have in Japan. It's great. Yeah, I like that one a lot. To me, it tastes like the Hello Kitty store. <laughs> All right, let me spit my gum. Let's see. I'm not gonna be able to eat all of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and look through some of these and see what I've got here. Um, <clears throat> let's taste this. Wasabi, wasabi nori. So this is wasabi flavored some sort of savory snack. I think this is seafoody as well. So let's see. Super cute packaging, right? Look at that. Oh, it smells good. 
It smells like sunday snacks. It actually smells more like soy sauce. Let's see how spicy it is. Oh. I can't bite into it. Whoa, it's kind of garlicky too. It's not very wasabi flavored though. In terms of texture, it's kind of similar to jerky, but very, very thin, salty, sweet, definitely some MSG in there, but I'm not really getting any wasabi. Mm. Mm -mm. Not much at all. Mm. Just a little bit, just a tiny little bit. Yeah, it has a little bit of a fishy flavor to it. Yeah, this one's not my favorite. Now I'm tasting the wasabi. The wasabi just a little. Yeah, not really my favorite. Just skip that, go for the cuttlefish instead. Okay, what else do I have? Look at this packaging. This is another Orion candy, and I think it's more like those little Tic Tac things again. Let's see, I love that it's wrapped in paper. More yellow ones. Okay, let's see if they're the same. They are. Those are so good. What else do I have? Oh, look. Pachi Pachi. These are like Japanese version of Pop Rocks. And this is Kora flavor again. So, cola flavor is very popular. And let's do that. Mm, pop rocks. So let me dump them out in my hand. Oh, they're pop rocks, but they're different. Look, they're pop rocks with little ramune candy in there together. <sighs> All right, here we go. So pop rocks, if you've never had them before, they're like little crystals. And when they make contact with water, they pop. And they're really fun. Here we go. That's super fun. So not only do you get the fun delightfulness of the popping candy, but then you get the ramen candies in there as well. So it gives you something else to chew and gives you a little bit more flavor. But yeah, that's delightful. And visually, it's just, they're just so beautiful. Look at that, that combination of like little candies that are kind of like sweet tarts or smarties combined with popping candy. And it's cola flavor, delicious. Oh, that was a big one. <laughs> All right, let's look. Okay. So we've been, I've been doing this for almost 50 minutes now, 47 minutes. So I have to go at an hour. So I'm gonna taste a few more things. If you're just joining me, hi, it's Emmy. I'm tasting a bunch of Japanese snacks and candies that my friend Glenn sent me the last time he went to Japan. So super fun. Um, look at this. This looks like an individual hard candy. And from the packaging, it looks like it's gonna be, oh, sorry, apple flavored, lingo. So let's see, super cute, right? Ah, uh, because I've got a, whoa, look at that. It is a hard candy, but I think there's something inside it. Doesn't smell like anything. All right, here we go. Mmm. Nice apple-y flavor, artificial apple. But let's try to bite it because it seemed like there was something inside it. Mm-hmm, mm. I like that. Inside is kind of, maybe it's gum. I think the inside is gum. Yeah. Kind of took me a while to figure it out because it was kind of crumbly. I think there's gum in the middle. I like that. Way better than just a regular gumball because those gumballs get really hard. The texture gets really hard. And there's not a lot of flavor, but this one you get the whole candy coating on the outside and then you get the really soft gum inside. Mm-hmm. That's great, apple flavored gum, and it's not staining my mouth at all, which is really nice. That's a problem I have with gumballs. You eat one gumball that's like blue, and then your everything is blue. 
so not worth it. All right, let's try something else. <clears throat> oh, Glenn sent me another one of those gumballs, but this one's a grape one. And another one that's cola flip. But look, the packaging is just so delightful. I love that. And then let's taste these. Aren't these cute? These look like to be gumballs too. Um, let's see. Looks like these are ramen flavor. Meigum. So I think those are gumballs too. When Pop Rock recipe, I've researched Pop Rock recipe and there's a lot of science behind it. I don't know if it's something you can craft actually in your own kitchen. I've seen recipes and they combine baking soda or they use citric acid and baking soda, but you're never gonna get that huge Pop Rock thing. I think they do something like under a vacuum or something to create the actual Pop Rocks, like true Pop Rocks. You can create fizzy candy easy enough, you know, just take some kind of acid and base, usually baking soda and combine it with some sort of acid, like citric acid, but you're not gonna get that really big crystalline um, But I don't know, I could research it some more, but I researched it in the past and wasn't able to come up with anything. Ah, okay. Yes, Tristan, I think they are created under pressure. There's some sort of something. Oh, I can smell these already. They're like little peas in a pod. Oh, and they smell great. Like a ramen. All right, little dusty blue balls. <laughs> mm. Oh, this is so good. Mm -hmm, mm, 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 mm. Super flavorful candy with a nice little tangy punch. And again, that just delightful. People are trying to call me. I'm unavailable. This one has a significant amount of sourness to it. Like that. But not so sour as that super lemon one that I tried in the beginning. Yes, but aramine flavored. Delish. Mm hmm mm hmm I don't know the last time I've chewed this many pieces of gum before. Hmm. I should probably have some water. Mm -hmm. Man, this is great. A few more minutes. <clears throat> Let's see what else I got. Look at these. Aren't these cool? This is some sort of game too. I'm not sure how to play this. Japanese friends do let me know. They're, I don't know, something. I don't know if it's predictive or what, but you punch these out of this. It almost looks like birth control, but this is not birth control. These are candy. All right, so I'm gonna pop out a uh, orange one. And they just pop out the back like that. Ooh, candy. They taste just like sixlets. There's, I didn't mean to say candy. I meant to say chocolate. <laughs> There's chocolate inside. And it's not great quality chocolate, but a candy coating on the outside. And yeah, they're okay. But they're fun to pop out, definitely. Okay. Um, what else do I, oh, look at this. This looks good. So this is a kind of, uh, I'm not sure if this is gum or some kind of chewy candy, but it's definitely grape flavored. Oh, goody, goody, no, this isn't goody. Look at this. I love grape flavored candies from Japan. They have a great Concord grape, grape flavor. So, so good. Ah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. So good. Mm -hmm. This one's gum too. Delicious. Really great smooth texture again, but this one has a little bit more chewiness than the other gums that I've had. So, so good. I love grape flavored candies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
delish. Yes, I will try to have a moderator next time. Actually, it isn't gum. It's just melting away. But it's a taffy. Or maybe it is gum and I'm just swallowing it. I don't know. My brain is becoming addled because I think I've had too much sugar. <laughs> no, this is a taffy. It's not gum. It's chewy like a gum, though. Okay, just a couple more. Um, oh, look at this. This has some kind of like goggles or something inside it. Let's see. Well, as thick of goggles as you can fit inside of a package like this. Okay. Let's see. Oh my gosh, this is so great. Look, 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 look. This is not, what? How does this work? Okay, so there's a little bit of candy here. And this is a piece of gum. This flat thing is a piece of gum. I don't understand how these, how do I keep these on my face? Wait, huh? Oh, I guess you just hold them? I'm confused. How do I, oh, okay. So it says here, or it shows you here that you need rubber bands. So you use rubber bands and you thread the rubber bands through these little loops right here. Not loops, but holes. And then you can put the rubber bands behind your ears so you can wear your glasses. These are little small, Ted, thank you so much. So I think, you know, rubber, just, just imagine that I have rubber bands and that these are my glasses. My face is a little, is a little bit too big for these glasses. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> and this is gum, but I've had so much gum, I'm not gonna eat that. Okay, what else? I have another Awa candy, which I was the first candy that I ate, and this one is the grape flavor. And I have more Oramane chewing candy. These look like kind of like giant Mentos, but this is Oramane flavored. And for my last candy, wait, I'm gonna eat two more candies. Look at this one. Look at this packaging. So, so. Brown Moon, I think this is classic Ramune. So here's the Sakura on this side and there's a fish on this side. So take that off. And here is the classic Ramune candy. Oh my gosh, look at this. They come in little sheets. When you say left, it's on this side. Can you see if I show you on this side? Because for me, all the text is coming up on this side or this side. Which side is better for you? This side or this side? This side? Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up pretty quickly anyways. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, that's perfect, okay. So here's the Ramune candy and it almost looks, okay, wait, I think there's something on them actually. Oh my gosh, look. Ah! So I'm pouring them out into my hand. Oh, this is so great, look. So this one has a Sakura flower on it I've never had this candy before. This one has a telephone stamped on it. Ted, thanks so much. This has a little apple on it. Is this a music note? I think that's supposed to be a music note. Duck. Bye, Olivia. That and a cluster of grapes. Okay, I this is a laminate candy, so they're super thin kind of fragile. Let's give this a taste. I'm gonna eat a, what am I gonna eat? Oh, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat a bat. Here we go. <laughs> Not very good. <laughs> very dry and crunchy. Thank you, Eric. And they taste like melon flavored and just very chalky and dusty. They taste Oh yeah, they taste a lot like um, candy cigarettes. Kind of that, just that dusty, chalky, not very good. Yeah, so very sweet and kind of old fashioned -y, but not very tasty. All right. <clears throat> this one is gonna be my last one. And this is the bottle sour. It looks like a little bottle of whiskey or something, but it's got more of this kind of dr Excuse me. Thanks, Jerry. I had to go retrieve my candy that I just dropped. So this is gonna be just like pixie sticks and like that pineapple candy I had earlier, I imagine. So peeling this off right here and I'm gonna twist off this cap and I'm gonna pour this in my mouth. Look, 
There it is. All right, here we go. Is this apple? This might be apple or melon. Let's get this taste. Here we go. Ooh. That one doesn't taste good either. It's kind of tangy, but not a really great fruity flavor. Yeah, I don't care for that one. Hmm, that's too bad. It is sour. It's not fizzy at all. Hmm. Yeah, that was very underwhelming. So, I guess I have to eat one more candy. I have this, and this is a gummy. And this is going to be a traditional flavor, and this is going to be an ume flavor. So that's a dried plum. And this has a resealable top, so we can save some for later. Let's open this up. Ooh. Look at this. Kind of a dusty coating on the outside, and it's kind of a rectangle shape. All right, let's give this a taste. Mm -hmm. Very hard, so I'm just gonna bite the whole thing. Hmm. Thank you so much, Kyle. I'm not a big fan of that. The flavor tastes like umeboshi, umeboshi, which is pictured right here, which is a salted dry plum. And you find it, a lot of things flavored like that in Japan, but it's not my favorite. It tastes slightly floral. It's tart and kind of plummy flavored, but I don't really care for it. But this is significantly sour on the outside. The texture is kind of fun. It's got a kind of nice, kind of almost leathery, gumi bounce to it. But yeah, if you like umeboshi, then you would like this. And, but I don't, so that one's not actually my favorite. Alrighty, my lovelies, thank you so much for joining me for this hour long <laughs> taste test of treats from Japan, including snacks and sweets. And thank you guys so much for super chatting with me. Thanks for spending your little slice of your day with me. And yes, I will try to find a moderator next time for this to moderate comments. But yeah, this is my only, my second live that I've done in quite a long time. But yes, come back again. I hope to do these on Friday around lunchtime and we Kyle's can hang out and maybe do like, I don't know, I was thinking I might do ramen next time, instant ramen, and that you guys can have lunch with me. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. I go, hope you guys are having a great Friday and enjoy your weekend wherever you are in the world. And yeah, to stay tuned. Tomorrow, um, a new video is coming out. I publish on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So tomorrow is Saturday, so tune in for a video at eight o'clock Eastern time and what else? Oh, I also have a cameo. If you want me to do a little shout out for a friend or family, I now have a cameo. So I will put a link down below so you can do that if you like. All right, have a great day and yeah. Bye. Thanks for tuning in again. Oh yeah, thanks again, Glenn, for sending me all these treats. Okay, all right, bye lovelies.